Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Ladder Up. Today, uh, Monday, I guess? I don't know. So I realized uh, after I recorded uh, Thursday and Friday's episodes that I was not going to have much time over the weekend to record anything. So I figured, you know what? I'll do a couple more episodes just so I have something for you Monday, Tuesday. I really don't like missing days if I can avoid it. So you know what? I'll just record them now while I have the time. And in the meantime, you know, I'll, I'll be working on something else. I actually, uh, one of you guys, and I wish I could remember your name. Oh, I can't remember. Actually sent me a, a QR code team. And it looks like they actually put up a QR code specifically because I asked somebody. Ooh, hello, Tony from Delaware. I don't see Delaware very often. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, but that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, ooh, gotta, gotta, hold on, think here. This is helping me think at the blood flow. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, top of Lulu, top of Coco. Interesting. So, pro I'm gonna guess Char- I mean, it could be Charizard Y, but I would guess Charizard X, honestly. Uh, Milotix there, Tyranitar, Persian. So, Weather Wars are going to be very interesting on this one. Do I just want to go Hard Rain? Right away. Hold up. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Or, do I instead want to go like Ludicolo Coco? Do some Volt Switchy Eject Button shenanigans for the weather. I think that might be good. Yeah, yeah, I like, I likes, I likes that. This could be bad. Uh, I definitely want to bring Scizor, and I think, I think the Toad is the way to go. And and you know, Amoongus is is just great, but like this Amoongus is fat too. This Amoongus will take a timid. Charizard heat wave in the sun. Like, what? I don't know. I just got so excited about my damage calculation. Ah. All right, Tony, let's go. With a rating of 1500, so fresh out the box. Persian Charizard. That's going to be some duh, tailwind shenanigans. So here, here is the question What do I do? I think we trade fake outs. I think I fake out Charizard. Now, I and you know I, I made the same mistake as I did last time. I didn't put the the Waterry MZ on the Ludicolo, which I'll have to do after this battle because I kind of need it. Um, fake out, and I want to say I'll Volt Switch the Persian because that's less likely to protect. It is Charizard X, so I my intuition was correct. Charizard X is a lot more common than it ever used to be. Thanks, Wolf. Thanks for that. Um, and I don't think it's bad either. Yeah, not gonna let you set up a Dragon Dance, that's for sure. So now, I think what we do we switch on the Toad. It's a, it's a good boy, good Toad. And we Dazzling Gleam or just Thunderbolt? What could possibly come in? I'm gonna, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna just Dazzling Gleam because a lot of these Persians don't even aren't even easy to take a Life Orb Dazzling Gleam. They're just not. This will protect Coco. Get my Rain up, which is nice. Hopefully, we can just bop this Persian because we're, we're timid, so we're gonna outspeed. And that's a, if you don't know, very important thing to know. Modest Coco. Oh, okay, so good Eevees. Um, Parting shot, yeah. So, Modest Coco. Underspeeds Persian by, I think, two or three points? Something like that. So, if you're Modest, for that Life Orb damage or whatever you're doing, you know, probably not a good idea in this meta to be not max speed Coco, or at least not just faster than that. But, you know, you're going to get outsped. They can parting shot you. If you're timid, you can't pick up the knockout, but you can outspeed them in Dazzling Gleam. Thunder, thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. A lot of, a lot of damage. <laughs> um, yeesh. Yeah. Man, Bulu. Bulu's a problem. Here's the thing, if I get a Charizard, 
Bulu's no longer a threat. Oh, sorry. You know, yeah, because I'll have Scizor. Persian's already in range of Bullet Punch. So Charizard's gonna protect here. Like, it's... Oh, yeah. Going to... That parting shot's annoying. That was into... And in case there's a switch out and either like Tyranitar or something. Persian, okay. That's fine. That's alright. Unless Bula protects here, that would be okay. Okay. So we called that right. Whoo buddy. So yeah, this uh What's it called? Scizor could be real good right now. Oh. Why is my game freezing? Don't tell me you... Was that... Was that us or them? Don't tell me that was me. Don't tell me that was me. No, don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, that was them. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, we probably still won that, but all right. I'll take it. Hold on. I'm going to be right back because I got I to gotta, I gotta fix this Ludicolo issue. And we're back! So we got the Colo. That win won't show up for another... Until after this next battle. So that, that's kind of... Uh, I'm not super happy about that. Because I wanted to show... Oh god, death is coming for us. Uh, Japan, 1633. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit of a problem. And I would say, if not for, for Tapu Lele... Man, if not for Tapu Lele... Moogus could be Moogus Scizor is super good here. Not for those two things. So I, I'm definitely gonna want Coco to try and circumvent the psychic terrain to really let Scizor shine. Is there any reason to bring rain at all? I mean I'll speed the Landorus if it's just choice scarf that which uh, you know. Um Yeah, this is tricky. What because we're not going to have any speed control, and that's not going to help us, so. I actually think, as weird as this sounds, this is probably our best bet. Landorus as well? Landorus as well. Yeah. Yeah, as strange as that sounds. Part of me almost wants Landorus to be and Incineroar just for extra fake out when I don't want to bring rain because I think a, a fire type on this team would be super good there's times I just I don't want it um yeah and if Celesteel has flamethrower and you catch my scissor you know what good for you good good for you where's the Gengar okay so about what I expected to have to deal with So worst case scenario, we run into a, um, what's it called? Fake tier shadow ball will be kind of annoying. So any reason I don't want to just go into Tapu Koko. Mm, kinda. I don't know. I think you're gonna fake tears. I think you're gonna fake tear Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. Into, uh. Wait, wait, okay, that's fine. So a Spore would have been nice, but this is fine. Um. 
Mid Gengar, right? If it's pair songing, that's annoying. Not the end of the world. I'm also gonna guess that this is Choice Scarf Lele. So we honestly might just be sacrificing um, Amoongus next turn, which is fine. I kind of had this plan going in that if I could just protect Scizor from any damage, a will o -Wisp or whatever. Okay, this is perfect. So no Perish Song. So that's definitely Choice Scarf Lele. And this is where, like, Lele is not a problem if you have... Um, something to deal with that, which I don't. And I truly think... Yeah, and I am I am going to just Rage Powder. Because Le if Leila wants to protect, fine, and Mungus goes down, fine. I'll get in my, my Coco, and then I can Bullet Punch your face. Like, hard. Psychic, yeah. There goes a Mungus. Mungus is decimated, sent into another dimension. Uh, just gone. Oh, yes, thank you. That's dumb. I don't want to have to deal with that. And it was Choice Scarf, so I was right. So my intuition, my intuition was correct. Psychic Terrain's gone. Now, it's very easy. Bring in Coco, and we start dunking on fools. Bring out your little Whimsicott. You think I care about that bad boy? I'm worried about an Encore, so I'm definitely gonna... Definitely going to... Um... Bullet Punch this turn. The question is, does Gengar protect? Does it protect? Landorus coming in. That's like... Landorus comes in, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I really am. I, I think I think Gengar wants to protect here. I really do. It, you know, if you don't, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Okay. All right. So that's okay, right? That's an interesting mechanic. I didn't know that because. It went for Encore. Interesting. Very interesting. Slow Bomb into Coco, yeah. Okay, so... That was a very good play on their part. But I learned something new, so I'm okay with this. Because I clicked Bullet Punch, the speeds are predetermined before the moves go through. You picked it, start a turn, speeds are predetermined. Encore goes in. Scizor is locked into that same priority of Bullet Punch, so it's the next thing to go. But because it's locked into Bug Bite, it goes next. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Time, time to party. Yeah, I gotta lock myself in a rock slide, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to lock myself. Here's the question. Is it bad if I lock myself into Earthquake? No, I don't think so. Oh, I can't even protect the Sizzler. That's, yeah, that's bad. I think that'll knock out Gengar. I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock fight here, just because I think that'll be the way to go. Withdraw Gengar into your own Landorus, right? And Tailwind, oh, and Celesteela, and Tailwind, right? Yeah, I want to get rid of Whimsicott as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. That I expected that. So you're like, okay, this is Choice Scarf Landorus. But it's not. So we hit that. That's nice. And honestly, a Bug Bite into Celesteela would be bad. And quite frankly, I think that thing's going to have Flamethrower. Because if my Encore ends, then this is... This is... Yeah, this is tricky. Tricky because we can take we can take any move Gengar can throw it at Landorus, and Willis will suck. But it's not the end of the world. How many turns are Encore? One turn left, right? I think this stupid thing is gonna have. I think it's gonna have it. I want a Rock Slide. Just flinch chance damage. I can always superpower the Celesteel if I really have to. 
Okay. It's Fire Z. It's Fire Z. And it outspeeds my land risk. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. I'm not even mad that we're losing to that. That's just crazy. Yeah, Encore really doing us dirty. Because otherwise, we, we shut this whole thing down. Really going to need Rock Slide to, to kill Gengar. And really going to need... What, what boost boost you getting? Okay. Really going to need that to kill. I feel like it should. It doesn't. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. That Willow was missing was nice. But yes, that special attack boost is, is just deadly. And also, that Cell Steel's gotta be really fast. Cell Steel is what? Base 80. Oh, no, it's base 60. So naturally it gets to like 70 something. So that's significant speed investment to outspeed my Landorus. Because this is jolly max speed Landorus. Very interesting. Now, Gengar actually lives that. That's bad. Nice crit on the Cell Steel, it doesn't matter. Alright, well, we lose that one, but I'm not mad. I le actually, I learned a ton from that battle. Actually, it's not over. It's super not over. Because where there is a Rock Slide, there's a way. The Cell Steel is still going to outspeed us, right? Oh, yeah, well, now, okay, well, now it's over, yeah. I didn't realize Shadow Ball was going to do that much damage. Alright, well, you know. The game to my opponent. That was nuts. And, and Gengar is really annoying to deal with this team. Because um, you really do want to switch around. And even though I think we, we played alright. Um, yeah, just Whimsicott with the Encore. Which I, mean, I knew it had Encore. I, just, I, however, didn't realize that Encore was going to lock us into Bug Bite like that. That's why I bullet punched. So, but I don't think it even mattered, really. Yeah, and also... Who runs Inferno Overdrive Celesteela? You know what? I ain't complaining. That that's a that's a good move. It won you the game, so there you go. Anyways, that's all the time I have for ladder up, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope to see you back tomorrow, Tuesday, for another episode of Ladder Up. We're gonna be playing this team. I can't I I just I got to do it. So I'll I'll see you see you next time and uh have yourselves a great day.